boo buddies Anya here and it's time for July and quarter three setup this will be my first quarter and month setup in my new bat bullet journal or Nana as we've decided to call it and um, I'm so excited because quarter three is of course the best quarter of the year because it brings all the best things we've got reading challenges in the summer with hopefully pool parties and cookouts with more reading and outdoor activities which of course leads into stationary sales with back to school time and all the fun stationary and of course that is also when we start to get our halloween prep on so we will all be ready for halloween when it comes around uh, in in october so i love quarter three and this year i am doing a book reading challenge theme so i i do a book summer reading um, something every year have since before book challenges and YA was a section in the library and I love reading in summer heat. That is probably my favorite sum summer activity. So quarter three and by extension July's theme will be summer reading. So I'm starting off my uh, cover, not so cover, but cover tracker page for quarter three with a nice bookshelf, which is also going to be my summer reading tracker. So I've got a goal of 30 books in three months uh, for the summer months so there's three months in quarter three this works out pretty good and I'm drawing out a bookshelf and I only did half the books to start with because I I don't want to overwhelm myself but as I read the books I will fill them in by extension all my quarterly goals are also going to be books that get colored in I've got a nice little stack going on down here and I will write the goal that each one represents on the spine um, off camera my goals are are mine they are my private goals but uh, just to just to get that going and then I am changing up how I do my quarterly trackers I can't believe it took me this long to figure out uh, just turning things makes so much more room on the page but isn't that part of trial and error with with Bojo As you can see, I've made quite a few per perspective errors with drawing books, um, and that's okay because it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be fun and on the page for us to, to do it. Of course, just like every cover of my quarterly goals, I need a boo in, in my space. I need a boo in my cover space. So even though this is both cover and tracker page, uh, nice multitasking, we still need a good boo. And of course, I am boo reading a book, which will of course add to one of the goals, uh, probably one of the bigger goals since there's more to fill in. So this is gonna be pretty blank to start with because it is technically a coloring page and I will fill it in as the as the quarter goes on so things that are not for the coloring page of course we need to add some flair so I'm gonna go ahead and fill the shelves in with a nice creamy birchwood style look and then give boo some shading because boo is not two-dimensional boo needs some shading while I have only drawn six goal books for the stack, there are actually 10 goals going on at the end of this spread. Uh, so I'm not using the, the reading tracker as a separate, I'm not filling in another book for that because it already has its own tracker. So there's trackers are not getting their own labeled goal because they're getting filled in separately from the overall goals written out page but that doesn't mean they're not goals and it doesn't mean that they are not adding to the overall to-do list throughout the quarter so um, but yeah I'm trying not to overwhelm myself and double up when I write out my goals and if there's already a separate tracker a progress tracker that I use 
uh, for the quarter not to double up on myself. So I've got my YouTube and my Instagram playlist trackers going on to make sure that I have a nice weekly update. And then of course my word counter tracker that I set up for myself. I've got multiple journal and and writing projects going on every quarter so I like to keep a word counter to just fill in and see what I can get done during the uh, during the quarter and those are private word goals of course so don't I don't want to be judged on the internet so I keep I keep my word goals private for for right now just for my own sanity and then of course I've got my art sales tracker again private private sales goal going on but still needs a tracker and it's I love it I like a good progress tracker because it's so simple it's something we all know how to read we all know how to fill in and they're really straightforward and at the beginning of a quarter it's just nice and clean and so much fun to fill in progress updates throughout uh, as, as you make little progress and the best thing about progress trackers is you can't go backwards on them so to add to my book theme I've got some fun little washi stickers they are like washi tape but they are nice die cut stickers and I've got book stacks and some decorations that can be bookends which I thought fit with the nice little something and I'll probably add more as we go um, now it's time to make my monthly setup for July now that we've got our quarterly goals ready to go we need to break them up in two months and we're going to start with July I am doing something different so if you guys have followed me for a while you might uh, remember that I sometimes have a doodle a day section in my weekly dashboard and I love having a doodle a day I love having my gratitude line a day in my weekly setup but it takes away from the rest of my weekly setup in my dashboard and I was getting frustrated with not having enough room for everything I want on my page and since I'm not going to get a larger notebook I have to figure out where else I can put it and I realized I can put a doodle a day as part of the monthly calendar and give me another reason to check back in on my monthly calendar all the time instead of just when I need to check up my weekly setup once a week so this is something I'm trying I have no idea if it's gonna work but I've got nice little blank squares for each day of the month which looks very normal looks very like well yeah that looks like a calendar but they're actually nice little squares for a nice reasonable size doodle to put in every day and I've got the numbers small and tucked up in the corner so they don't get in the way of the doodle so we'll see how I do with my doodle a day calendar spread I'm excited to see if this works for me uh, and to kind of go with the book theme I decided to kind of give myself a nice little um, offset scrap of paper for my package tracker I really am all about tracking my packages we order things all the time and it's just good to keep track of what we need uh, and so I've got my tracker for my packages over on the left hand side and then of course my monthly goals so as we break up the quarterly goals into the month that'll be good it's still a reading theme so I've got lots of reading and book related decals that I'm adding in and I mean how can you go wrong with book decals I, I think that's one Thing that I don't think we'll ever get tired of as stationary nerds and Bujo community is we love we love our book related stickers and decals so on to my weekly spread up for the first month of July I am sticking with my dashboard setup it looks a little bit different than it has in the past because I have a very busy quarter I have secret projects that you may or may not have heard about if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter you may or may not have already know what my secret projects are uh, but I don't want to get into that here on YouTube YouTube is just relaxing scheduling set up for for my planner this is this is supposed to be a safe place we don't need to talk about secret projects right now 
So um, this is, again, this is a new bullet journal to me, so I'm still figuring out the sizes of what I need for my days. I like a vertical uh, day list, so a horizontal weekly spread so that I can see all the days of the week in one left to right glance and then going down I can do my to-do list so I really I don't like a horizontal to-do list for the day then at the top I have my what most of us are calling habit tracker but I am more like it's more like a daily check-in for me which is why it fits better in my weekly uh, dashboard instead of having its own spread of habits and flipping back and tracking habits uh, so it's more of a, a daily check-in for me but they are there are habits that I'm trying to form habits trying to make sure that I'm checking in with and and doing every day so things like uh, my 20 minutes of tidying around the house every day 20 minutes of yard work every day because my yard is quite its own thing but I've got more than I usually have because secret project oh my goodness and also it's just it's a busy time of year for me we've got lots of Halloween set up then of course my posting schedule and my projects for the week so projects for the week it's own nice big space because those are the weekly goals weekly projects and then they get broken up throughout the week into the day so you can kind of see what's going on and what still needs to be done and then at the bottom of the page with my week in the middle, nice and nice and neat, um, I've got my gratitude line of day. So I've, I've really noticed a difference in my mental health and my overall well-being, just making sure to check in every day and write a little one line of gratitude. And it just looks really fun when the weekly dashboard is all filled in with the habit trackers and the posting schedule is all ticked off and your gratitude and your weekly. And it's just, oh, it's so it's so nerdy to be that happy with a filled in day planner but i mean that is what i love um, i'm just going back through and filling in some more decals where i can i really love this spread i think books and reading is definitely a theme that we will never get tired of in the bujo community thank you for watching boo buddies and i will see you in the next video